Kei Shikori is a Japanese professional tennis player, currently ranked world no. 4 by the Association of Tennis Professionals, ATP. He is the only male Japanese tennis player ever to be ranked inside the top 10 in singles. He has won 11 singles titles and was runner-up at the 2014 US Open, making him the first male player representing an Asian country to reach a Grand Slam singles final. He also reached the semi-finals at the US Open in 2016. He also became the first man from Asia to qualify for the ATP World Tour Finals and reached the semi-finals in 2014 and 2016. He first reached his career high of singles ranking of World No. 4 in March 2015. Personal Life Nishikori was born in Matsu in Shimane Prefecture, Japan. His father, Kiyoshi, is an engineer, and his mother, Ari, is a piano teacher. He has an older sister, Rina, who graduated from college and works in Tokyo. Nishikori was previously coached by Brad Gilbert and Dante Bottini, but is now coached by former World No. 2 Michael Chang since January 2014. Career Junior Career Nishikori won the 2004 title at the Riyadh 21 tournament in Rabat, Morocco, and was a boys' singles quarter-finalist at the 2006 Junior French Open. He partnered with Emiliano Massa to win the boys' doubles title at that tournament. Nishikori won the 2007 Luxolan Cup held at the 2007 Sony Ericsson Open by defeating Michael McLoon. As a junior, he compiled a 73-37 win-loss record in singles, and 53-31 in doubles, achieving a combined ranking of no. 7 in the world in July 2006. 2006 Nishikori began the year in March by receiving a wildcard entry to the Kyoto Challenger Tournament in Kyoto, Japan where he lost to Australian Robert Smeets in the round of 32 and just failed to qualify for the doubles tournament. In May, Nishikori qualified for the ITF Futures event in Mazatl, N, Mexico, where he was victorious in the men's singles. 2007 A finalist in two USTA Pro Circuit events, Nishikori lost to Donald Young in Little Rock. Arkansas and Alex Bogomolov, Jr., in Carson, California. He partnered with Young to win the doubles title at Little Rock. At the Sony Ericsson Open in Miami, Nishikori paired with triple French Open champion Gustavo Kuerten, but the two were defeated in the first round. Nishikori served as a hitting partner for Roger Federer at Wimbledon. After his ATP main draw debut in Los Angeles, Nishikori qualified for the Indianapolis Tennis Championships in July. He beat Alejandro Fava in the first round to record his first ATP main draw win. He followed that up with a three-set win over Michael Bearer, the eliminator of seventh seed Robbie Dinepri, to advance to his first ATP quarterfinal. Although he lost to Dmitry Tursunov in two sets, Nishikori became the youngest player to reach the quarterfinals at Indianapolis since Boris Becker. In 1985, later that month, Nishikori headed to Washington, D.C., for his third career ATP event. He defeated Tamora's Gabashvili in the first round before falling to Julian Benedo in the second. He qualified for the China Open in Beijing, losing in the first round to Ivan Lubachuk. In October, Nishikori received a wildcard entry to the AIG Japan Open Tennis Championships in Tokyo, where he lost in the first round to Zach Fleischmann. He participated in the tournament's draw ceremony and was honored with an award from the Tokyo Sports Writers Club. Nishikori finished out the year representing Japan at the Asian Hopman Cup competition in Bangkok, Thailand. 2008 First ATP Title Nishikori started the year by reaching the semi-finals of the Miami Challenger Tournament, 
He then entered the Delray Beach Tournament as a qualifier ranked World No. 244. He gained entrance to the main draw by defeating Nicholas Todaro and Alex Bogomolov Jr. in the first round. He defeated Florian Mayer due to a retirement in the second set. In the second round, Nishikori defeated Amir Delic, another qualifier. In the quarterfinals, he won against Bobby Reynolds. In the semifinals, he upset Sam Querrey. In the final, Nishikori upset top seed James Blake in three sets to become the first Japanese man in nearly 16 years to win in a TP event. Nishikori lost in the first round of the Miami Masters to the Spanish player Albert Montanez. He faced James Blake again, this time at the River Oaks International Tournament in Houston, Texas in the first round, but Kay lost in two sets. He went out in the third round of the 2008 Queens Club Championships against Rafael Nadal in just over two hours, facing the world no. 2. Nishikori played well in the match and showed promise. His first Grand Slam appearance at the 2008 Wimbledon Championships on 23 June 2008 ended in a first-round forfeiture to French player Mark Ickle, suffering from an abdominal muscle strain. Nishikori retired after the second set. In August, he entered the Beijing Olympics on a wild card. There, he lost in the first round to Rainer Schettler of Germany. Nishikori made his debut at the U.S. Open, defeating 29th-seeded Juan Monaco in the first round. He cruised to the third round, after downing Croatian Roko Karanu. I see, on 30 August 2008, he became the first Japanese player to reach the round of 16 at the U.S. Open in 71 years when he beat fourth seed David Ferrer in five sets in what was considered one of the tournament's major upsets. He lost his chance, however, to compete in the quarterfinals when he was beaten by 17th seed Juan Martin Del Potro in straight sets. In the Japan Open Tennis Championships, he made it to the round of 16, before losing to Frenchman Richard Gasquet. Nishikori was given a wild card for the Stockholm Open, where he made it to his second ATP level semi-final of the year. Despite playing with a knee injury, he received a walkover in his quarterfinal match against Mario Ansic, who had to withdraw due to illness. In the semi-finals, he was beaten by fourth seed Robin Saderling. 2009 Disappointing Injury Season Nishikori made a disappointing start to the season, losing to Jürgen Melzer in the first round of the Australian Open. On the 25th of March, Nishikori was named 2008 ATP Newcomer of the Year and became the first Asian player to win the award. He withdrew from the French Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open because of an injured right elbow. 2010 K made his comeback after his injury of the previous year. After receiving a wild card at Delray Beach, he was beaten in the first round by Benjamin Becker. K returned to the Challenger Tour later in April with a great success, reaching quarterfinals at both Baton Rouge and Tallahassee events, followed by a victory at the Savannah Challenger over Ryan Sweeting in the final. On 15 May 2010, he won the Sarasota Open by defeating Brian de Boule in three sets. Nishikori played in his first French Open. He rebounded from two sets down to defeat Santiago Geraldo of Colombia in the first round but he lost his second match against Novak Djokovic. He lost to Richard Gasquet in the first round of the 2010 Aegon Championships at Wimbledon. He played second seed Rafael Nadal in the first round and lost in straight sets. At the U.S. Open, the Japanese no. 1 met Morin Silic in the second round. Nishikori ousted the 11th seed in five sets to advance to the third round, his best Grand Slam tournament showing in 2010. 2011 Nishikori opened the season in Chennai where he upset two-time defending champion Marin Zilic in the first round, before falling in the quarterfinals to Janko Dipsarevic. 
In the 2011 Australian Open, Nishikori reached the third round, defeating Fabio Fognini and Florian Mayer along the way. His run was ended in the third round by nine-seed Fernando Verdasco. After the third-round appearance in Melbourne, his ranking rose to no. 70. At the first two ATP Masters Series events of the year, Nishikori suffered a first-round loss at Indian Wells and a second-round loss in Miami. Nishikori then reached his second final at the 2011 U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships. He was defeated by American wildcard Ryan Sweeting. At Roland Garros, Nishikori lost in the second round to Sergei Stakowski. He faced Leighton Hewitt in the first round at Wimbledon, but lost in four sets. Nishikori then retired in his first round match against Flavio Cipolla at the US Open. At the Shanghai Masters, Nishikori reached his first Masters 1000 semifinal. He defeated Robin Haas, fourth seed Joe Wilfried Songa, and Santiago Geraldo in the first three rounds. In the quarterfinals, Nishikori upset 12th seeded Alexander Dolgopolov in straight sets. He lost no to Andy Murray in his first Masters 1000 semifinal. He reached a career high of world no 30, breaking the previous Japanese mark of no 46, set by Shuzo Matsuoka in July 1992. In the Swiss Indoors Basel tournament Nishikori defeated an ailing world no. 1 Novak Djokovic to reach the final. Coming back from a 4. 5. 0. 30 deficit in the second set. The win was only Djokovic's fourth loss of the season. Second loss in a completed match. And first loss of a completed match on a non-clay surface. Nishikori was defeated in the final by Roger Federer. On the heels of the victory, Nishikori was granted special exemption into the 2011 BNP Paribas Masters and achieved the ranking of World No. 24. 2012, first major quarterfinal and second ATP title. Nishikori started the season at the Brisbane International, where he lost in the second round to Marcos Bagdadis. At the 2012 Australian Open, Nishikori came back from a set down to defeat 6 seed Joe Wilfried Zonga to reach the quarterfinals of the Australian Open, where he was then defeated by 4th seed Andy Murray. Nishikori was the first Japanese male player to reach the quarterfinals of the Australian Open in 80 years. Nishikori made it to the quarterfinals of the Hall of Fame Tennis Championships after beating Belgian Olivier Rokas in three sets. In the Summer Olympics, Nishikori lost to Argentina's Juan Martin Del Potro in the quarterfinals. In Toronto, he lost his first match. After a first round bye to Sam Querrey, he did better in Cincinnati, making it to the third round before being defeated by Stan Wawrinka, who ended up a semi-finalist in the event. Nishikori had also lost to Wawrinka in the quarterfinals in Buenos Aires in February. On the 7th of October, 8th seed Nishikori won the Rakuten Japan Open in Tokyo against 6th seed Milos Raonic of Canada in three sets to win his first ATP 500 Series title and second career ATP Tour title, lifting his world ranking from World No. 17 to a career high of World No. 15. Nishikori's win was historic as he became the first Japanese man to win the Japan Open in its 41-year history. 2013, third ATP title. Nishikori started the year by playing the Brisbane International and reached the semi-finals before retiring to Andy Murray because of a knee injury. Nishikori then reached the fourth round of the Australian Open before falling to fourth seeded. David Ferrer, Nishikori was bothered by a nagging knee injury throughout the match. Nishikori then won his third career title in the U.S. National Indoor Championships by defeating Feliciano Lopez in straight sets. Seeded fifth, Nishikori finished the tournament without dropping a set and taking the winner's check. 
and moved up six ranking spots from No. 22 in the ATP rankings to No. 16. On the 9th of May, Nishikori defeated defending champion Roger Federer at the Madrid Open in the third round, but lost to Pablo Onduhar in the quarters. In 2013 US Open first round, Nishikori lost to a lower-ranked opponent, this time to World No. 179 Dan Evans in straight sets. 2014, Career Breakthrough Nishikori made it to the fourth round in the Australian Open, but was dismissed by Rafael Nadal in straight sets without much trouble. He defended his title at the U.S. National Indoor Tennis Championships in Memphis, defeating Ivo Kalovic in the final. He then played at the Masters 1000 event in Miami, where he was seeded 20th. Nishikori saved four match points before defeating fourth seed David Ferrer and advanced to the semifinals with a three-set win against fifth seed Roger Federer. Because of a left groin injury, he gave second seed Novak Djokovic a walkover in the semifinals. He withdrew from Japan's Davis Cup quarterfinal against the Czech Republic. Nishikori returned to action at the end of April, in Barcelona, winning the final against Santiago Geraldo of Colombia in two sets. On 10 May Nishikori made history by reaching the final of Madrid Open, his first Masters 1000 tournament final. Nishikori beat David Ferrer in three sets in the semifinal, and faced World No. 1 and defending champion Rafael Nadal in the final. Nishikori won the first set and led by a break in the second, but Nadal hit back to level the match before Nishikori was forced to retire in the third set due to a back injury. Nishikori lost in the first round of the French Open to Martin Klizin in three sets. Nishikori bounced back from the French Open first round loss in the grass court season by reaching the semi-finals of the 2014 Jerry Weber Open before losing to Roger Federer in straight sets. Nishikori participated in the Wimbledon Championships and made it to the fourth round after surviving a tight five-setter against clay court specialist Simone Bellelli, but eventually lost in the fourth round to Mila Shranik. Despite winning the opening set, Nishikori opened his hard-court season by participating in the City Open. He reached the quarterfinals only to be beaten by Richard Gasquet for the fifth time in his career. In straight sets, Nishikori reached his first Grand Slam final at the 2014 US Open. He beat Wayne Odesnik, Pablo Onduhar, Leonardo Mayer and then World No. 6 Mila Shranik in a marathon five-set match that lasted until 2.30 a.m., a record late finish at the U.S. Open en route to the quarterfinals. In the final, Nishikori lost to Marin Silic. Nishikori's run at the U.S. Open saw his singles ranking improve the world no. 8. Nishikori began the Asian swing by entering the Malaysian Open as first seed and won for her third season title, beating Julian Benito in two sets. Nishikori then went on to participate in the Rakuten Japan Open and won the title for the second time defeating Milo Shranik in the final. However, in the Shanghai Rolex Masters, he later suffered a first-round loss to Jack Sock in straight sets. Nishikori then played in the BNP Paribas Masters and reached the semi-finals defeating Tommy Robredo, Joe Wilfried Sanga and David Ferrer, each in three sets. However, he was ousted by Novak Djokovic in straight sets. This semi-final appearance guaranteed his birth for his ATP World Tour Finals debut. In his first year-end ATP Finals, Nishikori defeated Andy Murray and David Ferrer, but was defeated by Roger Federer in straight sets. With this result, he progressed through to the semi-finals and faced Novak Djokovic, losing in three sets, thus ending the year at a career-high world no. 5. 2015 Career-High Ranking Nishikori began the 2015 season by participating in the 2015 Brisbane International and reached the 
semi-finals before being beaten by Milos Raonic in three tight set tie breaks. He reached the 2015 Brisbane International Doubles Finals with his partner Alexander Dolgopolov but lost in straight sets. Nishikori equalled his best record yet in the Australian Open by reaching the quarter-finals for the second time in his career, dropping only two sets along the way. But he was beaten in straight sets by defending champion Stan Wawrinka. In February, Nishikori won his eighth singles title and became the first-ever player to win the Memphis Open three times in a row, beating Kevin Anderson Indiana straight sets in the final. He next participated in the 2015 Abierto Mexican Hotel Cell and reached the final, losing only a set to Kevin Anderson Indiana the semifinals. By reaching the final, he earned enough ATP ranking points to move into a new career-high world ranking of no. 4. However, he lost to David Ferrer in straight sets in the final. During the March Masters, he reached the fourth round of the 2015 BNP Paribas Open for the first time in seven appearances, but was upset by Feliciano Lopez in straight sets in the fourth round. In the 2015 Miami Open, he defeated Mikhail Yuzhny, Viktor Trowitsky and David Goff in all in straight sets losing only a total of 10 games to reach the quarterfinals. However, he was upset by an informed John Isner in straight sets. Nishikori began his clay court season at the 2015 Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell where he reached the final after beating Tamoris Gavishvili, Santiago Geraldo, Roberto Bautista Agut and Martin Klizan. He successfully defended his title by beating Pablo Andujar in the final in two sets to win his ninth career title on the tour. At the 2015 Mutual Madrid Open, Nishikori was granted a first-round bye and proceeded by defeating David Goffin in three tough sets in the second round. He reached the semi-finals after beating Roberto Bautista Agut and David Ferrer in straight sets, respectively. He then lost to Andy Murray in the semi-finals and his ranking dropped to sixth as a result of failing to defend his points from the final in 2014. Nishikori was given a tough draw at the 2015 Italian Open but managed to reach the quarterfinal. After beating Yuri Beasley and Viktor Trowitsky, both in straight sets, he faced World No. 1 Novak Djokovic in the QF and lost in three sets. Nishikori opened his French Open campaign by defeating both Paul Henri Mathieu and Tomas Belushi in straight sets to advance to the third round. He advanced to the 4R for the second time in his career after his third-round opponent, Benjamin Becker, withdrew due to a right shoulder injury. Nishikori became the first Japanese man to reach the quarterfinals of the French Open in 82 years. By beating Tamora's Gabishvili, he then played home favorite Joe Wilfried Sanga, but eventually lost in five sets. Nishikori opened his grass court season by participating in the Halley Open where he reached the semifinals, only to retire in his match against Andreas Seppi down 1-4 in the first set due to his calf injury which he attained in his quarterfinal match. Nishikori decided to play Wimbledon, and he reached the second round by beating Simone Bolelli in five sets for the second straight year but then withdrew from his second round match against Santiago Geraldo, due to his calf injury acting on him again during his first round match. Nishikori opened his hard court season by competing at the 2015 City Open defeating James Duckworth, Leonardo Mayer, Sam Groth, and Marin Silic en route to the final where he beat John Isner in three tight sets to capture his third title of the year and tenth title overall. At the 2015 Rogers Cup, he reached the semifinals without losing a set and defeated Rafael Nadal for the first time in eight tries in the quarterfinals. He lost to Andy Murray in the semifinals in straight sets. He withdrew from the Cincinnati Masters citing fatigue and hip injury, which affected his semifinal match against Murray the previous week. 
He lost in the first round of the 2015 U.S. Open to Benoit Pair. Nishikori started the Asian fall by participating in his hometown tournament, Rakuten Japan Open, where he reached the semi-finals, including victories over Borna Korik, Sam Quarry and Marin Silik. He was upset in his semi-final match by unseeded Benoit Pair. He reached third rounds of the Shanghai Rolex Masters before losing to Kevin Anderson. He then played in the BNP Paribas Masters. However, he retired in the third round match against Richard Gasquet due to an abdominal injury. Nishikori qualified for the ATP World Tour Finals for the second straight year in a row, clinching eighth place. He defeated Tom, question mark, Burdick, but lost to Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer. He failed to qualify for the semi-finals, finishing in third place in his group. 2016, Olympic bronze medal and more. Nishikori began the season ranked no. 8. In January, he entered the Brisbane International as the no. 2 seed where he advanced to the quarterfinals with a bye and a straight sets win over Mikhail. Kakushkin, but was eventually upset by 7th seed Bernard Tomic in three sets. At the Australian Open, Nishikori was seeded 7th. He began with victories over Philip Kohlschreiber, Austin Krejcik and Guillermo Garcia Lopez before beating 9th seeded Joe Wilfried Songo to reach his third Australian Open quarterfinal, where he lost to Novak Djokovic. Nishikori next competed at the Memphis Open where he was seeded first and was the three-time defending champion. Nishikori received a bye into the second round and advanced to the semifinals without dropping a set. In the semifinals, Nishikori beat Sam Quarry in three sets and later beat young American Taylor Fritz in straight sets to win his fourth straight Memphis title and his 11th ATP title overall. He joined Jimmy Connors as the only four-time winners of the event. During the March Masters, Nishikori reached the quarterfinals in the Indian Wells Masters for the first time in his career. After defeating Mikhail Kokushkin, Steve Johnson in straight sets and saving a match point against 9th seed John Isner in Nishikori's serve in the third set, he lost to 4th seed Rafael Nadal in straight sets. Nishikori improved his feet by reaching the quarterfinal again in the Miami Open by beating Pierre Hugues Herbert, Alexander Dolgopolov and Roberto Bautista Agut in straight sets. He then reached the semifinals of the tournament for the second time in his career after saving five match points and beating Ga Elmonfis in a comeback three-set match. He then reached his second final in a Masters 1000 after dismantling Nick Kyrgios in straight sets. He lost to World No. 1 Novak Djokovic in the final in straight sets. For the fifth consecutive year, Nishikori did not play in Monte Carlo and instead turned his focus to defending his Barcelona Open. Bank Sabadell title, he reached the final without losing a set but lost in straight sets to resurgent nine-time champion Rafael Nadal in the final. He followed his good run by reaching the semi-finals in the Mutua Madrid Open, beating Fabio Fognini, Richard Gasquet for the first time in seven meetings and rising teenage star Nick Kyrgios. He lost in the semi-final to Novak Djokovic in straight sets despite a close second set. Nishikori then replicated his Madrid run by reaching the semi-finals of the Italian Open for the first time after beating Viktor Troitsky in the opener in three sets, followed by wins over Richard Gasquet and Dominic Thiem in straight sets. He lost in the semi-final against world Novak Djokovic in a marathon three hours three setter despite winning the first set 6-2 and managed to pull off a tiebreak in the third set. He later participated at the French Open but unfortunately lost to an informed Gasquet in the fourth round in four sets. Nishikori began his grass season at the Halley Open, but retired in the second round due to a hip injury. His next tournament was at Wimbledon, where he retired in the fourth round against Marin Silic, once again due to injury. With Murray, 
Federer and Nadal absent. Nishikori was seeded third for the Rogers Cup Masters in Toronto. After beating Grigor Dimitrov and Stan Wawrinka in the quarterfinals and semifinals respectively, Nishikori then lost to Djokovic in straight sets in the finals, going 0-5 so far in the season against the Serb. Nishikori then participated in the Rio Olympics, where he reached the semis before being defeated by World No. 2 Andy Murray in straight sets. However, he later acquired the bronze medal after he defeated a strained Rafael Nadal 6-2, 6, 7, 6, 3, becoming the first Japanese man to win a tennis medal in 96 years. Nishikori nearly replicated his 2014 U.S. Open run by reaching the semifinals of the U.S. Open, defeating Benjamin Becker, Karen Kachanov and Nicholas Mahieu respectively in four sets followed by a straight sets fourth round win against Ivo Kalovic, and a massive five-set victory over World No. 2 Andy Murray in the quarterfinals that lasted nearly four hours. This was arguably his biggest victory since the 2014 US Open. After leading by a set and a break against eventual champion Stan Wawrinka in the semifinals, a clearly fatigued Nishikori lost in four sets, hence ending his U. S. Hard Court season with a finals and semi finals run in the Canadian Open and the U.S. Open, respectively. After an indifferent Asian swing season where he retired in his home tournament, the Rakuten Japan Open, Nishikori returned to action again in Basel, where he was the no. 3 seed. He enjoyed a successful tournament there, but lost to Marin Silic in the finals. Nishikori next represented Japan in the Davis Cup playoff against Ukraine and played in the doubles rubber alongside Y. Ichi Sugita, winning the match in straight sets, giving Japan an unassailable 3-0 lead to promote his country back into the 2017 Davis Cup World Group. Nishikori made his third successive appearance at the year-end championships after becoming the fifth player to qualify for the 2016 ATP World Tour Finals. He won his first match, upsetting third seed. Stan Wawrinka in straight set 6-2, six, 6-3 two, six, before losing his other two round-robin matches to Andy Murray and Marin Silic respectively, both in three sets. Having done enough to nevertheless make the semi-finals however, he was then defeated by a resurgent Novak Djokovic in straight sets, ending his season with a singles ranking of World No. 5 for both the second time in his career and in the past three years as well. 2017 Nishikori began the year by reaching the finals of Brisbane, beating Wierinka along the way, before falling to champion Grigor Dimitrov in the Australian Open. After defeating Andrei Kuznetsov in five sets in the first round, K beat his next two opponents in straight sets. His run ended in another five-set match, this one to eventual champion Roger Federer. National Representation Davis Cup Nishikori made his Davis Cup debut for Japan in April 2008 in the Asia Oceania Zone Group 1 semi-final against India in New Delhi. He was 18 years and 104 days old, the youngest player to play for Japan. He played the singles rubber on the first day, but lost to Rohan Bopana in five sets. He then defeated Mahesh Bhupathi in a dead rubber to record his first Davis Cup match win. To date, Nishikori has compiled a 19-3 win, loss record overall. In the 2014 Davis Cup World Group first round in Tokyo, Japan defeated Canada 4-1, and Nishikori had a hand in three Japan victories in the tie. He beat Peter Polanski and Frank Danchevic in the singles rubbers, and teamed up with Yasu Taka Uchiyama for a victory in doubles over Danchevic and Daniel Nestor. Japan advanced to the quarterfinals in the World Group for the first time. Olympics Nishikori represented Japan at his maiden Olympics in Beijing 2008. 
He competed in the singles competition from ITF Places spot. There, he lost in the first round to Rainer Schettler of Germany in three sets. At the London 2012 Olympics, Nishikori competed in the singles and doubles competitions, partnering Go Soda. In the singles, being 15th seed, he reached the quarter-finals, knocking out Bernard Tomic, Nikolai Davidenko, and 4th seed David Ferrer on the way. He became the first Japanese man to reach the quarter-finals since Takai Chihirata in the 1924 Paris Olympics. However, his run ended by 8th seed Juan Martin del Potro of our Argentina. In the doubles, Nishikori and Soda were eliminated in the first round by Switzerland's defending champions Roger Federer and Stan Wawrinka. Fresh from his Rogers Cup Finals appearance in Toronto, Nishikori represented Japan at the Rio 2016 Olympics, where he was seeded fourth. In the semi-final, he lost to Andy Murray and faced Rafael Nadal for the bronze medal match which he won in three tight sets. It was the first tennis medal for Japan in 96 years. Rivalries Nishikori vs. Ryanik Nishikori and Ryanik have met seven times, with Nishikori leading their head-to-head -head five, two. They met once in 2012, four times in 2014 and twice during the 2015 season. At their first meeting in the 2012 Rakuten Japan Open Final, Nishikori won it in three sets. Their first meeting in 2014 was at the Madrid Masters with Nishikori winning in two tiebreak sets. In Wimbledon 2014 4R, Ryanik scored his first win against Nishikori beating him in four sets to advance to the quarterfinals. They met again in the US Open 4R where the match tied the all-time latest finish for a match at the U.S. Open with Nishikori prevailing in five tight sets which lasted 4 hours and 19 minutes. They had a rematch of their 2012 final in the Rakuten Japan Open 2014 final where Nishikori won, again in three sets. In 2015, the duo first met at the Brisbane International with Ronick prevailing in three tight set tie breaks. This was followed later on in the same year in the Davis Cup where Nishikori won in another epic five-setter to keep Japan's hopes for a quarter-final place alive with the score tied again at 2-2. Two. Two. Nishikori vs. Ferrer Nishikori and Ferrer have met 12 times, with Nishikori leading 8-4. They met for the first time in the 2008 U.S. Open with Nishikori registering his first win over a top-10 player, beating David Ferrer in a five-set thriller as a teenager. They next met again from 2011, 2013 with Ferrer winning three times in straight sets and Nishikori winning only once in the Olympics, at 2012 in three sets. However, in 2014, Nishikori showed that his two Three deficit head to head encounter against Ferrer was just the beginning and thrashed the Spaniard. In each of the four encounters in 2014, they first met in 2014 in the Miami Masters with Nishikori beating Ferrer in three tight sets after saving four match points to progress to the QF. They next had an epic encounter at the Madrid Open with Nishikori beating Ferrer in another tight three-setter to progress to the final of a Masters 1000 for the first time in his career. Their next two encounters were in the BNP Paribas Masters and the ATP World Tour Finals where Nishikori again defeated the Spaniard in three sets. In 2015, Ferrer had a remarkable start to the season but was beaten in the Australian Open by Nishikori in a dominant straight sets victory. However, Ferrer ended his losing streak to Nishikori in the Abierto Mexicano Telcel where he beat Nishikori in straight sets in the final. In Madrid, in the quarterfinals, Nishikori took revenge and beat him in straight sets. Nishikori vs. Silic Nishikori and Silic have met 13 times with Nishikori leading 7. 
6. Silic won their first ATP World Tour meeting in 2008 at Indian Wells, beating Nishikori in straight sets in the first round. In 2010, Nishikori avenged that loss at the US Open, beating Silic in a tough five-setter lasting for almost five whole hours. In 2011, they met at the Chennai Open where Nishikori beat Silic in three sets. In 2012, they encountered each other at the U.S. Open where Silic avenged his past U.S. Open loss to Nishikori by beating him in four sets to progress to the 4R. In 2013, they met at the Memphis Open where Nishikori beat him in straight sets to progress to the SF and he would later go on to win the title. In 2014, their rivalry was more intense with three ATP meetings. They first met in 2014 at the Brisbane International where Nishikori beat him in three sets to book his semi-final spot. They met again at the clay courts of the Barcelona Open where Nishikori dominated Silic in another straight sets victory where he would later go on to win his first title on clay. Their most significant meeting would be at the 2014 US Open. They met in the finals after Nishikori overpowered World No. 1 Novak Djokovic and Silic overcame World No. 2 Roger Federer in the semi-finals. Their meeting in the final made the 2014 US Open the first Grand Slam where none of Federer, Nadal and Djokovic reached the final since the 2005 Australian Open. However, Nishikori was defeated in straight sets by an informer in Silic in the final. In 2015, the pair met in the semi-finals of the 2015 City Open, with Nishikori coming back from a set down to prevail in three, and gain a place in his 15th career final. They meet again later on in the 2015 Japan Open where Nishikori came back from a set down to defeat Silicon in three tight sets. In 2016, the duo met in the fourth round of the 2016 Wimbledon where Nishikori retired mid-match in the second set after losing the first set due to a rib injury which had disrupted his grass season. They met again in the final of the Swiss Indoors, where Silic prevailed in straight sets. Their most recent meeting came during the round-robin stage of the year-end 2016 ATP World Tour Finals that of which saw Silic come from a set down to again defeat Nishikori and ultimately prevail. Equipment Nishikori has endorsed the Wilson Wilson Burn 95. However, it is believed by racket enthusiasts that he used an older modified Wilson Encodinator underneath the steam paint job. He also carries around a character called Mr. Saturn from the popular video game Mother Earthbound playing style. With solid and consistent shots on both wings, Nishikori plays most comfortably at the baseline, using dominating ground strokes to push his opponents around and hit winners. He can generate a lot of pace, especially on his flat backhand, while his western forehand is accurate and consistent. However, he also has the ability to play defensively and hit consistently to wear out his opponents. Because of this, many people have commented that he has the offensive ability of Fernando Gons, less than the defensive skills of Novak Djokovic. Under the coaching of Michael Chang, Nishikori has gained the habit of taking balls earlier without compromising consistency reminiscent of Andre Agassi, allowing him to take time away from his opponents. Nishikori has a slightly unusual style of hitting ground strokes on both wings, winding up the racket with a short but compact backswing, and hitting the ball right at its peak. These make his ground strokes powerful, accurate and unpredictable due to the delayed backswing, which prevents opponents from anticipating which direction the ball will go. He has also been praised for his return of serves, which he executes well due to his ability to take them quickly. He is known to hit winners off return of serves with strong and accurate ground strokes. Although his serve is not exceptionally strong, it is consistent enough to prevent opponents from easily winning points off it. 
He has a flat first serve that can reach speeds of up to 125 miles per hour and employs a top spin second serve. Career Statistics Grand Slam Tournament Performance Timeline W. 1 Tournament Reached F. Final SF Semifinal QF Quarterfinal Hash R Rounds 4 3 2 1 Competed at A. Our R. Round Robin Stage Reached A. Q Hash Qualification Round A. Absent or N H Tournament not held. To avoid confusion and double counting, these charts are updated either at the conclusion of a tournament, or when the player's participation in the tournament has ended.